in Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 to 14. Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 to 14. The Bible says, Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law, being made a cause for us, for it is written, Cause is everyone that anger on a tree. 14. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promises of the Spirit through what? Through the faith of God. I want you to shout this prayer point loud and clear. Say, Father, let your mercy blot out causes from my life in the name of Jesus. Father, let your mercy blot out causes from my life in the name of Jesus. Father, let your mercy blot out causes from my life. Let your mercy blot out causes from my life. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. Hello, viewers across the world. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV. When I subscribe to my channel, kindly subscribe today. We are looking on a topic. Do this to break any curses in your life. Do this to break any curses in your life. We have different types of curses. We have the curses from man. We have the curses from the devil. We have the curses from God. I pray every curse that is militating against the plans and the promise of heaven for your life, may that curse be revoked by the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Hello, viewers. If there's anything you should avoid doing is to attract the curse from God. The curse, if the curse from man can be disastrous, how much a curse from God. I pray, may God Almighty, through His mercy, take away His curse upon your life, upon your community, upon some practices in your village in Jesus' name. The Bible says, God has redeemed us from the curse of the law. The law. Demonic law. In many homes today, law of thou shalt not go far. Law of thou shalt not marry. Law of death. Law of sickness. In some family, there is a particular law. The law was set aside in such a way that any person in that family that reaches a particular age, that person must die. In another family, a law has been established and that law goes that anyone that tries to build a house or anyone that tries to travel abroad, that person will experience a major setback in his or her life. There is a law. A law in some family that every woman in that family will never end up getting married to the right person, to the right man. There is a law. A law of poverty. A law of wretchedness. Some family, they will be wealthy, but no healing, no divine health, no peace. It is one trouble or the other. Law. The Bible says God himself will deliver us from the cause of the law. The law, everywhere the law, demonic law, satanic law has been set aside to swallow the effort of every people's life and destiny. That is why we can tell you that we have a high record of people going back to square one. We have a high record of people experiencing backwardness, stagnation, difficulty, promise and faith, near success syndrome, rising today, falling tomorrow, sickness, failure at the age of breakthrough. There is a law in the family. And that law says that any wealthy person that tried to help their extended family, or help their family, it means that the wealth of that man will be conspicuated, will be taken off by the wicked, the law. I pray every law of Satan militating against your family, may that law be revoked, may that law be cancelled by the blood of Jesus Christ. What are those things that can lead us to breaking, to cancel any cause? The cause imposed on you deliberately by your parent. The cause imposed on you by your friend, by your family. The cause imposed on you by other people, by a stranger. A cause imposed on yourself. You impose some cause upon your life. Mistakenly, you put that cause upon your life. When you were in your mother's womb, your mother lay a cause. And that cause is affecting you while growing up. May that law 
be broken in Jesus' name. Sins in the life of men need to be counseled and broken to pieces. If there's any cause in your life, the blood of Jesus Christ will cancel it. The blood of Jesus Christ will revoke it. The blood of Jesus Christ will paralyze the effect of those causes upon your life in Jesus' name. Without complete destruction of that cause, such a person will find it very difficult to enjoy the goodness of God. Why? Because satanic law is in place. I pray, may God free you today in the name of Jesus Christ. We have many people today walking around with different kinds of curses. In the book of Joshua chapter 6 verse 26, Joshua chapter 6 verse 26, Joshua placed a curse upon Jericho. And from that moment, the people of Jericho suffered from that curse. Many prophets came to rescue them from that curse and left. But the people of Jericho continued to suffer in silence under that curse. They called on Elisha to help them break that curse. In the book of 2 Kings chapter 2 verse 19 to 22, 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 19 to 22. The Bible says, Elisha said, Go and bring me that salt in a new cruise. They brought it to him, and he took it in his hands, and went to the source of that river. And Elisha brought in the salt and said, I have healed this water. And from there, there shall be no more death, no more sickness, no more barren land in your life and in that community. In Jesus' name, a curse can be placed in a community. Any person that enters that community, any person that lives in that community, that person would have been sharing from the effect of those curses placed in that environment. That is why the moment you enter a particular community or a particular house or compound, you will feel it from your body that this place you are going is a danger zone. Your spirit will communicate that there is danger around here. And what do you do? You should flee away. I pray every cause in your life shall be taken away in Jesus' name. You can pray against causes. Causes can be broken by the power in the blood of Jesus. Causes can be broken through the anointing of God. Causes can be broken through the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If somebody issued a curse upon your life, you have to meet a powerful man of God to break that curses upon your life. If a man of God or a woman of God issued a curses upon your life, you have to meet a man of God with higher power anointing to break that curse issued upon your life by a prophet. If a winch and wizard laid a curse upon your life, you have to meet a powerful man of God is minister of God to break, to reverse, and to shatter to pieces that curses working against your life. Curses can be broken no matter how long it has rested on your body, no matter how long it has rested upon your life, upon your destiny, no matter how long it has been fighting or programmed in your family. Jesus Christ is the one that can break every law of Satan in people's life in the community i pray every law of satan in your life every law of satan in your environment shall be broken in the name of jesus causes can be broken and break a cause through prayers through fasting through holiness living through repentance through fellowshipping with god through restitution, through separation, through breaking. Praise the name of the Lord. You can break cause. A particular cause was issued. You know that you grew up to meet that cause in your family. And what cause is that? A cause of poverty. And what do you do? You pray against it. And if your prayer seems not to bring that supernatural effect on your life or do you do you go and meet a powerful man of god to break that curse sometime you alone cannot break your own problem you alone cannot set yourself free 
you need the support, you need the assistance of the Holy Spirit through a servant of God, through a minister of God that can help you to break that curses, to release you from the grip of that curse, to break every law of Satan upon your life. Praise the name of the Lord. You need to study the word of God to break that curse. Study to show yourself approved unto God. The Bible says, Jesus Christ has sent a word, and his word, Ile de. Ile will come as a result of studying the word of the Lord. The word of God can break any curses upon your life. The word of God can cancel any curses upon your life. No matter how long the curses have stayed or remains in your body, in your life, the blood of Jesus Christ can cancel it. Praise the name of the Lord. Prayer can cancel it. Your forgiveness power to others can cancel that curse. Your constant asking the Holy Spirit to have mercy upon you can cancel the curse. In some family, it is only one person in that family God will rescue. God will redesign his or her life. Why? Because the person has break that cause, that inherited causes upon his life. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, I will bless those that bless you. And I will curse those that curse you. So which means that anyone that curse you, automatically, the cause shall turn to blessing. So cause can be broken. Cause can be counseled by the blood of Jesus through using the name of the Lord. You don't need to be afraid. You don't need to live by the power of that cause upon your life. Because if you are afraid of that cause, that cause will oppress you. If you are afraid of that cause, that cause will damage some vital things in your life. If you are afraid of that cause and you refuse to take authority over that cause, that cause will begin to manipulate you. That cause will begin to hinder you, prevent you, and cause all kinds of difficulties and challenges in your life. God has given you authority. God has given you a mouth to pray against them. God has given you hands to break anything that needs to break. Anything that needs to be loose, you need to loose by the power and authority in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, we overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimonies. So, every curse upon your life shall be cancelled, shall be reversed back to the senders in Jesus' name. When you discover that you are operating on a curse, then you need to pray against it. Do constant breaking. Go for deliverance. Ask the Holy Spirit to break you, to separate you, to free you from the grip of that curse. Somebody can be set free to that curse. The Bible says, you shall be set free. Who the Lord has set free he is free indeed in the name of Jesus Christ. You are free from that curse. You are free from that yoke. You are free from the cord of the wicked. You are free from that covenant. You are free from that evil dedication. You are free from all manners of delays in some areas of your life. You are free physically. You are free spiritually in the name of Jesus Christ. The evil dream that you have been having is as a result of causes. Causes. Every day is nightmare. Causes. You have to pray. You have to soak yourself with the blood of Jesus Christ. Soak yourself with the blood of Jesus Christ. You have to have the Holy Spirit. Oh Lord, break my yoke. Break my yoke. Holy Ghost fire. Break my God, break my yoke. Let my yoke be broken. I want to be free. I surrender all to you. I repent everything to you. I want to be free. Lord, break my yoke. I am tired of nursing these problems in my life for years. Look at what is happening in my family. Look at the law of death. Look at the law of poverty. No one in my family ever succeed. No one in my family ever prosper. Lord, we want that long-term shame in my family to be destroyed, to be counseled forever. God, we arise and break those ancestral curses upon your life and in the life of your family. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen.
Amen. I pray by the grace of God, what you have been finding it very difficult to do, receive the anointing of His. Receive the anointing of success. Receive the anointing of deliverance. Receive the anointing of victory in the name of Jesus Christ. No powers will suppress you anymore. No powers will oppress you anymore. No powers will insult the grace of God upon your life. I pray, instead of shame, God will give you double. Instead of delay, God will give you double acceleration. I pray you will live above those causes tormenting you today. If it is marital cause, it is broken. If it is financial cause, it is broken. If it is health problem cause, it is broken. It is academic cause, it is broken. If it is business cause or ministerial cause, they are all broken in the name of Jesus Christ. You are free in Jesus' name. I want you to close your eyes. Take prayer upon number one loud and clear. Say causes turning to problems in my life. Break in the name of Jesus. Causes turning to problems in my life. Break in the name of Jesus. Causes turning to problems in my life. Break, 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 break in the name of Jesus. Causes turning to problems in my life. Break in Jesus' name. Two, cause of delay. Break in the name of Jesus. Cause of delay. Break in the name of Jesus. Cause of delay. Break in Jesus' name. Three, say, Father, help me never to partake in anything that will attract causes to my life. In the name of Jesus. Father, help me never to partake in anything that will bring causes to my life. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Father, help me never to partake in anything that will bring causes upon my life. The causes from darkness, the causes from you. Help me, O God. Never to attract your judgment upon my life. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. This is Evangelist Joshua Oreke. God bless you.